Hi everybody, Fintan here from Damson Cloud. On this week, I want to talk about the difference between Google Meet and Zoom. When a lockdown happened for everybody uh, a year or so ago, a lot of people started to use Zoom as their primary video conferencing solution. And a lot of that had to do with uh, the tools and feature set that Zoom had available at the time. Um, now, Google Meet has since added a huge amount of features uh, over the last, uh, last 12 months, probably more features in the last year than in the previous five years. Uh, and certainly uh, Google did have a little bit of catching up to do, um, but they have definitely done that now. And I just wanted to go through probably some features that you may not know that Google Meet has. So if you're interested, you guys know what to do. Stay tuned. Okay, so firstly, I'm just gonna talk about where the products are similar, because I think that's probably a good place to start. And I think there's a lot of features that have been re released within Google Meet that again, people don't know about. So within Meet and Zoom, you've now got uh, custom backgrounds, you've got hand raising, you've got um, digital whiteboarding, so you can have a, a digital whiteboard and, and share that with, with everybody in the, in the meeting. You've got polling, so you can do polls, Q and A, um, you've got breakout rooms as well, which is a really important one. And again, this was a, a huge difference originally between Meet and Zoom. You've got recording, so you can record a, a Google Meet on a Zoom call. Um, you've got attendance tracking as well, so you can track who's actually come to your meeting and who hasn't. All of these tend to be very, very popular uh, for training for a lot of companies. We've got um, Android and iOS apps for both. We've got dial-in features and dial-out features for Google Meet, so you can actually dial into a call and you can dial someone into a call. For Zoom, there's always been the availability to dial into a call. Um, we've got presentation, screen sharing, all of the kind of usual stuff that, that people are, are used to. Uh, we've got live captioning as well, where you can actually have live captioning um, of what people are saying, so having it kind of coming up on the screen. Uh, and then obviously you've got things like single sign-on and support uh, and all those, those sort of things that are available, again, for both products. So they're the things that are similar. So where do they kind of differ um, and why would you use one product over the other, okay? So for, for um, differences, we've got the number of, maximum number of participants. So within a Google Meet, it's 250 and within Zoom, it's 500, okay? Now, for me, I kind of feel probably about 50 or 100 people in a meeting, you're not going to have the same kind of interaction. People aren't going to all be speaking. You're gonna have, you know, a large meeting, you're gonna have a number of speakers, and then the rest of the people are actually just gonna be viewing. So, Google kind of feel, and I, I would agree with them, that I mean, probably above 100, really, um, you, you're really moving into live streaming and, go, and with, with um, Google you can live stream up to a hundred thousand people so you can live stream your meeting and then you have people in the meeting that are basically the ones presenting or talking you know generally a company all hands or something like that and you might have thousands of people sort of watching it uh, at the moment that's in domain so you can't have it external uh, I know Google have talked about changing that I, they, they may or may not do that in the, in the future um, so that's, that's the, the differences um, around the number of participants. Um, other kind of core differences is really around the security. And everybody knows that, you know, now that Zoom is really a less secure product. Security wasn't really something that was kind of at the core uh, of, of what, they, what they did. And that's, you know, they've, they've kind of fixed things like the Zoom bombing and stuff like that where people could just sort of drop into a, a Zoom call. There was also security issues with some of the products that you had to install. So their actual um, client that needs to be installed on the machine. For Mac users last year, there had to be a security update because there was this um, gap in their security that allowed potentially people to, to access your machine. So, there, you know, security is not really something that um, is at the core of how Zoom kind of thinks and works. And for a lot of our customers, that's a huge issue. And so, um, you know, we would use Google Meet, obviously, because we, we resell it, um, but it's a much more secure product. Security is at the, the core of, of what Google does. They encrypt all of um, 
all of their, their Google Meet uh, calls. And it, it has always been the case that you, you know, security has been part of the, the sort of uh, DNA of Google. And obviously that extends out to Google Meet as well. Um, in terms of devices, I think that's another important area that customers don't always realize that, you know, you can um, Zoom partner with, with um, many providers to provide devices within, within a room. So I'm in a, a conference room at the moment and um, to allow video conferencing. Google also have Google Meet devices as well that allow you to um, turn a, a standard meeting room into a video conference room. And again, you have the capability to control that and, and um, ad administer uh, those devices from the admin panel for Google Workspace admins. So they're very easy and simple to set up. There's a, a huge breadth of um, options and capabilities and stuff now. Uh, in previous videos, we've done some reviews on, on some of these devices. Uh, there's Asus, there's Logitech, there's a, a huge array of, of different options now for, for customers in terms of Google Meet conferencing uh, devices. So um, I would recommend that you, you take a look at those and, and really you know, evaluate for yourself as an organization if you're using Google um, and already as your sort of email and collaboration uh, product, is it worth spending the additional money on Zoom? And is it really going to give you many additional capabilities or functionality? I think for me, um, the, one of the core reasons I love Google Meet is that it all happens within the web browser. So there's no need to actually install any additional software, any potential client that could cause an issue um, or a security hole within your system. And so it's much easier for end users um, to join your meeting. And a lot of people don't realize that they can invite external parties. They don't need a Google account. They don't need to install any software. They just click the link and it brings them into their web browser and they join the meeting. And they have the full capabilities and functions that you would have um, as, as any user would. And so, you know, for a lot of um, these other tools like Zoom, like um, Microsoft Teams, it requires the installation of some additional client onto your machine. That's a hassle for the end user. It's a security um, risk potentially. And often, if there is the avail availability of having it within the web browser like Microsoft Teams does, you don't have all the functionality. And so then now you have people on the call who are having completely different experiences. Uh, and that to me is a huge challenge that you want to be able to trust that the experience you're having is the same as anybody else uh, that's on your video call. So uh, we've got some comparison sheets that you guys can take a look at that goes into much more depth on the uh, similarities and the differences uh, between the two products. And um, so I recommend that you take a look at those. We'll, we'll link to those um, in our video below or in the blog post, if that's where you're watching this. And uh, as always, do comment uh, and let us know what you think. Uh, about this video and if you have any ideas for uh, future content as well. That's it for me guys, I will see you next week.